Yo, what's good YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well today. And today we were gonna do a team of the season and cooler review, but here is what happened, guys. So all of my footage that I had for his review was on the same team and the same footage as my Inform Hulk review, but I noobed it up and I deleted all of the footage to clear up my hard drive space, completely forgetting that is what I needed to use. Uh, for this team of the season review now I will have it out later today I'm about to make a team and play with it and then I'll have the review out probably tonight But before doing that I really wanted to make a video about something and that's how much pace is dictating prices now Obviously the the market is crashing so I fully understand what I'm about to say right here I just picked up Chavi, which is a 90 rated player obviously and you can see the price I got him for. I got him for 35000 Now, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't ever recall getting any 90-rated player on FIFA 12 for this cheap, even when it was uh, during the market crash. So correct me if I'm wrong, but that is incredibly cheap for a player like Xavi. So... Uh, I go in and I was going to fill the team and finish it with Thiago Silva as my center back and Dani Alves as my right back. And obviously I know Thiago Silva will go for a, a lot of money or a lot of coins rather. Uh, he's one of the best center backs in the game. He's pacey. All of that good stuff. I completely understand. Now here's what I don't understand. Dani Alves has pretty much maintained his price for the whole year. And I... The whole reason he has is because of his pace. He's a pacey right back. Now, that's not to say there aren't any pacey right backs in the game. Obviously, he's one of the pacier ones. But I was very, very uh, shocked that his price was still in the 100000 And I'm going to show you guys right here. Uh, let's go to Barcelona real quick. Alrighty, so I was about to buy him, and I looked at his price. I'm like, wow, he's still at a hundred thousand during this time. I really thought he would have crashed a little bit, considering that Xavi just went for thirty-five thousand. So that made me wonder quite a bit how much pace is dictating the prices. Now, don't get me wrong; he's a good right back. He's obviously got four-star skills. That's always awesome to have for a right back. So I'm sure there's other factors that are determining his price and making it go up a bit. But I was still very shocked. And my question is to you guys, do you think that FIFA 13 compared to FIFA 12 uh, has been more influence on pace on prices or or do you think it's just something with the market that's different this year? I personally think that pace has gone to be so much of an important factor for people that that is what it's determining the price of a player, which is really sad. I mean, um, someone like RVP was never going for what he's going for now. He was still going for, you know, hundreds, eighties, you know, back then. But very, very shocked with how the prices have been decreasing and increasing and stabilizing throughout this market crash i really really did not predict this but again let me know what you guys think i just wanted to give you guys an update video letting you guys know why the review hasn't been out it will be out later today i'm about to finish this team uh, probably won't get Dani alves anymore as i can't afford him still probably will get tiago silva and we'll have to see what we do with our right back so this team actually looks pretty nice to be honest with you guys i'm really really excited to play with this team so, um, you know, expect a review later today, expect a pack opening later today and tomorrow. Lots of stuff coming up throughout the week. I would have had this review out earlier, guys, but I just very dumb mistake and deleted the footage off my hard drive to clear some space, forgetting that that was the footage I needed. So in any case, guys, stay tuned and thank you guys for watching a quick little update. We will see you later.